this is Brooklyn. I'm a designer, model, and entrepreneur. I started my business, Shop Crystals, and this is her table. <laughs> now you see her. You are magnificent! Welcome to Her Table, the podcast that shines a spotlight on the badass women who are redefining the game. Join hosts Kate Foley and Megan Martinez as they unlock the secrets of success from the brightest female pioneers in the industry. Whether you're a young woman aspiring to break into the sports industry or a seasoned professional looking for fresh inspiration, come on and grab a seat at Her Table, where women's voices are amplified, dreams are realized, and the game is changed. You must always have faith in yourself. Seek out strong women to befriend, to learn from, to be inspired by. Women need a seat at the table, and in some cases, they need to create their own table. What's up, everybody? We're here for another amazing guest at her table in beautiful, sunny, hot Las Vegas Summer League. Oh my gosh, we're so excited to have Brooklyn on. She is an amazing designer. She's designing fits for NBA hosts, for NBA cheerleaders. She's just all over the place, and she's crushing it. Hey, she designed for us. Like, we have some amazing, beautiful, I mean, I don't even know who we are anymore. I know, right? I can't put it, wait to put it on. <laughs> Let's get into it, Brooklyn. I can't wait to hear her story and her journey, but more importantly, like, get some tips on fashion. Yes. Okay, so here it is, ladies. Cheers. So yeah. on, uh, here we go. Cheers. <laughs> so first table in Vegas. We're here in hot Las Vegas. Oh, yeah. NBA Summer League with one of the hottest new designers on the scene, <laughs> and I cannot wait to just talk about your story and everything. I, I, we're all over here talking about designs. They're like, wait, we have to stop. We have to, we, we can't talk about this right now. We can't. <laughs> yeah. We have to hold it's finding too much information. We gotta, we gotta learn about it on the show. What? Oh, everybody wants to know. Okay, so Brooklyn, you're here. You're in Vegas on her table. How exciting. Are you excited? Yes. Thank you so much for having me. This is amazing. <laughs> well, uh, we love having you. Yes. She brought us some really amazing ladies and oh my god okay i cannot wait you guys i'm gonna put it on as soon as i leave here and i'm gonna go same and read on it the whole day i'm gonna represent i'm yeah. so excited this so is beautiful custom made last night literally you guys <laughs> made yeah these jackets, jackets. Yeah. yeah oh last, my god. last night wow <laughs> wow there i don't know how you do it what about your fit right now yes. we're talking about it briefly but please i'm gonna need one of these made. i love this denim <laughs> you can never go wrong with uh denim on denim like streetwear 90s vibes i, so all custom I love the 90s vibe so I guess like tell our audience like what do you do? What is your she's a designer title. boss bitch changing the world? I literally had <laughs> over the teams one by one. I love it. Yeah, yes. love it. Literally one by one. Yeah. So I specialize in creating custom team gear, and it's crazy because when I first started my business, I didn't do team gear. I started with denim and sweatsuits, and my passion is streetwear. And then you know I started team gear, and it took off like custom jerseys and denim and it just took off, so that's where I am now. Everybody wants one of one because yeah. we all yeah. feel like we are one of one. So I think we, that's why we all want one of one. Yeah. And you literally make she literally makes people feel like one of one. Yes, I yeah. cannot. I literally told her I'm going to a few Saints games this year. I need to call you up. I want a custom fit, <laughs> and I can't wait to represent. Like I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, okay. So have you always been? You've always been into fashion. Yeah, my whole life I've been into fashion, but it just kind of came about that I started a business. Did you always want to be a designer or is this something you kind of fell into? Yeah, I definitely fell into this. Um, originally, I went to uh, Arizona State University. Okay, okay. Criminal justice. Shout out to uh, both. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I got accepted to law school and then, you know, the whole COVID shut down. Everything shut down. I went from having three jobs in a full-time student to absolutely nothing. So I created a business and... It all just happened suddenly, you know. I taught myself how to sew during the COVID shutdown. During COVID, you taught yourself yeah. how to sew, so you didn't like grow up sewing with like your mom or your grandma. Nothing. You were just like, okay, I'm I mean, they know how to sew, and they yeah. always like did it. But I, you know, during COVID, I watched YouTube videos and taught myself how to sew. What? Yes. And started like got my LLC and just started a business. Just started casual. posting on social <laughs> media, and I never had to return to work. I, wow. uh, I love that. Wow. I love that. So you, so we went from law school to fashion designer. Yeah. <laughs> this so, is, you were yeah. now like, every guest we have on the show did not start mm -hmm. how they were planning to. Mm -hmm. Like, it wasn't like, I, aha, uh -huh, I want to go like be this. It was like, I kind of fell into it and I loved it and I can't fall out of it. Yeah. yeah. That's so amazing. That exactly. Is. It's all alignment. You know, it all happened perfectly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, now I feel like I'm walking in my purpose. Yeah. So, I love it. I love how creative fashion is. Too. I know. Like, you it's, really. It's, you literally can kind of 
give little like tidbits and hints of like who you are as a person like through your clothes and it's almost like you're telling your story Mm -hmm. through through your clothes what are some of your favorite fits yeah honestly this one because i know i'm like you make me that one upset that yeah that's so cute i have this amazing I don't, okay, you explain what it is because yes. I'm not going to do it justice. So. Oh, yeah. No, you're good. And so I have <laughs> um, like some of the NBA tags on it from jerseys. Yeah. But I also have on the on the leg, it says, this is for the dreamers, believers, and the go-getters. So me personally, I believe you, obviously, you have to believe in something. And yeah. you have to dream it and go get it. You yeah. can't just sit there and work about it all yeah, day. you, you had to work it. for it right so, yeah right i really enjoy that saying that's why i included it i love it but yeah you can never go wrong with the denim outfit denim i classic i know although it is hot out here in las vegas it is, well, it is warm out here what have been some of your favorite fits that you've put together um yeah so i actually have alicia the phoenix sun's host with me today shout out alicia yeah uh, yeah, so I designed for her every game for about a year and a half now. Um, I've designed for custom flannels, custom denim, custom blazers. I just enjoy just doing one of one. You know, you don't yeah. want to match other people. Right. I personally don't like fast fashion. I don't order offline like that. Uh, so custom one of one, just honestly everything. So <laughs> how long does it take you to make a jersey? Like, or like, does it depend on what fit you're making? I know you did a huge... A lot of jerseys for the Phoenix Suns dance team. Yeah. Like, yep. go into depth about that. So, for the Phoenix Suns dance team, uh, Alicia was actually the one that introduced me to the entertainment team, and I was able to design because of Alicia. Mm-hmm. Uh, she made that introduction, and, you know, they reached out, and they're like, hey, we need, uh, like, three to four outfits, uniforms for the dance team. There's 18 dancers for the Phoenix Sun. Wow. Uh, so, custom outfit, uh within a month i had within eight a month. of them oh my gosh so what like on on average how long would one of those you know like one of those outfits how long did that take you know it just depends like okay. you know these jackets this one took forever like, i know you're like, like you're like you're like listen bitch enough <laughs> with fucking crystals everywhere this you need to slow your roll no more no more every time i ask now she's like i can do it but we're not doing the full-on crystal. Yeah, that we can't do that. Very long time. We can't do it. Oh my god. Well, I can't wait to wear it and represent. Me that is a fact, Jack. Yes. Yes. Yeah, something like that. That took that took like five, six hours. Oh my god. But gosh. my like this one, my denim fit, maybe like two. It just depends. Yeah. One to three hours is like average. Average. Wow. Okay. And how are you? Are you mass producing? I know you're one of one, but you do have some stuff that is like you, where you can order it online, right? And then you can make it. So how did you go from like one of one with Alicia to like, okay, now I'm a full blown business. Like walk, walk us through the steps of like, okay, now I got to actually get an LLC and I got to do all this stuff. What, how, how that happened? Well, I got the LLC first because I knew I wanted to start a business and actually like create for multiple people, you know, not just a hobby. Yeah. You know, it's a, a form of income. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I started my LLC right away, but um, yeah, from there I went creating one of one and then people wanted like even this, I, I posted it today and people are like, oh, I need that. I need that. So maybe I won't keep this one as one of one. Maybe I'll make like 10 of them. You right. Know? So, but yeah, so especially for dance teams, um, you know, there's 18 yeah. dancers on each NBA dance team. So from there, you know, just it just it's all about supply and demand. You know, right. if people are asking for it, I'll create it. But yeah, I like to stand out and just wear custom. So, how does that feel to have everyone be like, "I want to wear what you're wearing"? Yes. How does that? How does that feel? <laughs> it feels so good, and I love how my clothing makes people feel. You know, See, obviously, that's I'm, what I'm. Yeah, yeah. Yep. It's like you, your purpose and your passion are impacting people that you don't know, that don't know you, and that like you literally are touching their lives and creating a moment for them to feel like proud and safe and like so. You know what I mean? Like, yeah themselves mm-hmm. you're doing that that yeah. is freaking awesome amazing. thank you so much yeah i, I feel like it's amazing seeing women like truly confident and happy when they're wearing my clothing like empowering women through fashion it's uh so that's my whole purpose i realized that like within the past few months that's really my purpose oh my god empowering oh. women through fashion. fashion i love it yo i mean that's I'm really here too. Too. like bringing fashion i'm about to say the- trademark <laughs> yeah up. because it's so true that like women feel so much like more confident when you're when you look good it's like look good feel good so exactly i always say that yeah. too look good feel good and when you feel good you're yeah. gonna radiate positive energy Absolutely. and attract more opportunities yeah so 
that's literally what I go by. Like, if you're not if you're not happy with yourself, yeah, you're not gonna be attracting opportunities and elevating. Yeah, yeah. No, we were talking about that earlier about how like the universe, you know, like had COVID not happened, right. had you not started this, you wouldn't be where you are. Mm-hmm. And it's weird because you're in those moments. You're like, oh gosh, how am I gonna get through this? What am I gonna do? Mm-hmm. Holy shit, what are we gonna do? And then now you're like, aha, and aha, uh-huh. 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 it all <laughs> got together. It did. Okay, so you made the LLC. For those of us that don't know, what is an LLC? Like, what does that mean? Limited liability company. (laughs) (laughs) How for you, you're a woman in the fashion industry. I think sometimes it's easy to get painted as like, you're not the brains of the operation. You're just the pretty face behind it. It is. It happens. It happens. I, you know, I, I think it's one thing I try really hard to make sure that like, when you celebrate people, you celebrate them for who they are, not what they've done. Because it's so easy to be like, oh, that's so cool. That was such a cool, you look so cool. Not like, you're a person. How does it feel for you? Have you had any of those moments where people have kind of like doubted you because you're a woman, you're beautiful, right? Like what happened? Spill the tea. Like there's got to be a moment where you're like, watch and learn. I mean, all the time, especially working in like with the NBA. Yeah, male sports. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. It's male dominant. So seeing a woman actually empower other people and just doing her thing in the building without people helping like all this started because of me stepping out of my comfort zone right networking it literally started me in the street selling my custom jerseys outside of the phoenix sun stadium i was gonna say tell me tell yeah. that story yeah tell that story yeah it started uh 2019 when the suns and bucks were in the uh the, the championships finals, yeah. yeah in the finals so I was outside selling my jerseys, literally custom jerseys um, with the adjustable chains. Yeah, okay, whatever. Like the dress one. Right? Yeah, the yep. dress. Super so I had cute. them all in my arm, just like literally walking the streets of the uh, Phoenix, you know, and selling wow. my jerseys outside. Like, hey, want to buy a jersey? And like, oh my God. that's that's shocking to me to even remember that time because I used to be so shy. Like, I hated talking to people. I yeah. hated I didn't even want to order my own food at the restaurant. Like, I was very shy. <laughs> wow. So, it started from that, you know, uh, walking the streets of Phoenix and selling my custom work. Wow. And, then, you know, I ran out, I ran into one of the player's managers um, last March. And he's like, hey, I really like that jersey. Like, can I put that in a fashion show tomorrow? I was like, okay, yeah. Like, okay. Say so, less. Yeah. Less yeah. Well, then he brought us, uh, me and my best friend were outside selling. She was helping me. And mm-hmm. she, uh, Josh, his name, the player's manager, he brought us into the game, gave us, like, family credentials. So I'm like, oh, okay, let me go, like, make something happen. Yeah, yes. I seen Alicia literally standing on the court. She had just got done speaking um, at the game, at the Phoenix Suns game. And I'm like, let me just go up to her real quick. Let me just say what's up. And I went over there, and she was so sweet, so genuine. So I'm like, hey, can I design for you? And she, yeah. It was, is it straight from there? From there. <laughs> Literally. Speaking and like connecting you to more people. And yeah. So she, do you design her fits for every game? And, every game. Hey, yeah. For a year and a half since I met her. Wow. And so there's um 80 some games. Well, you, do you do so, home games or away games? Just home uh, games. Just right? home. Yeah. Home games. You're, yeah. She stays home. At okay. least 40 some designs. Yeah. Not including playoffs. Not including playoffs. How do you like have the brand with? You don't know. You don't sleep. <laughs> or, no, I literally don't. I, the past two nights, I probably slept three hours. Oh my god! But then I'll recover and like sleep like two full days. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm real. I'm just gonna die. I'm gonna go in a hole and die really quick. Yeah. My yeah. Head. But I always say I signed up for this. Like this yeah. is my dream life. I literally created this, so I don't mind it. You right. Know, obviously, I love to sleep and I love relaxing, but I love, um, you know, empowering people even more. So no, for <laughs> sure. Well, and I think too, it's always like. It's important to hear because I think sometimes it's easy, especially like you're a face of a brand, like you're a face of a company, to feel like, oh, they're extroverted. It's easy for them. They can just go do all this. It is intimidating. Yeah. It is a barrier to get across to be like, okay, you got to be respected in the business, but you got to hustle and you got to do work and you got to be persistent. Like, what advice would you give to young up and coming designers that like want to get in and be where you are? Just go for it. Like, so I know a lot of people go to school for fashion. So there's like more of a stigma on how to move in the industry but I didn't go to school for fashion so I just did it you know what I mean like just like my pants say you gotta be a go-getter yeah 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 Yeah. no go for it just go for it I think something that's cool too is that so did you pay for any marketing or is this literally word of mouth like you showing your showing up having these badass designs and then people are looking at you and they're like 
how do I get that? So that's how that's your whole marketing. Plan. Yeah, I've never paid anything for marketing. My wow. marketing is like just sending to some NBA hosts. You know, I've worked with a few different teams, uh, just sending them merch and hey, will you post about this? And you know, that's it's all word of mouth. Even I don't even know how we how did we meet? Same thing. <laughs> like I saw you on Instagram. Yeah. I've been at some at some Suns games, and I'm like, I just wa- have watched you grow as a person, but also through your business and just. Your ability to be so confident is so inspiring to me. Like it is. Yeah. It really is. Like sometimes I got it and sometimes I don't. But I'm like, you know what? Like, and then you told me your story of how like you were going to school for law school. And it's like, yeah, I didn't go. I didn't go to school for what I do. So I'm like, people always like, how did you do? I'm like, I kind of just just did it. Did it. Like I just kind of like walked in it, kept walking and never looked back. And I think there's so much pressure for girls to figure out like what they're going to be. Right. And I think especially like, okay, so you're primarily in NBA, right, right now. And it's like, it's a male dominated sport. That's intimidating for a lot of people to walk into. Because like, you're not, I mean, I don't know, are you a hooper? I'm not a hooper. Yeah, I used to play backhand. I was just being a degenerate that's not. It's fine. I'm just (laughs) one that's like, I don't hoop. I don't shoot. I'm good. Let's go. But like, you're in it. And like, okay, you're 26 years old. What's your, (laughs) yeah, I got it right. I got it right this time. You're 26. Like, you've been doing this three years, and it's just been three, four years, right? Uh, Yeah, I started right. my LLC three years ago. Yeah. Wow. And you're just, like, taking off. What's, like, what's your next dream? Like, what's next for you? Yeah. Honestly, just keep expanding and elevating, expanding to more NBA teams. There, it's never ending. There's millions of sports fans out there, so it doesn't right. have to end with NBA or basketball. You can go to football, but, yes. uh, track, like, literally, yeah. dance, gymnastics, like, soccer, everything you could imagine. It can keep yeah. expanding, even like doing her table even, even you know? her table I like, know. Oh, like we're not even in anybody <laughs> reported yeah yes you are I'm here, you have me here i love it <laughs> yeah but i have a second business as well where i do logo work so i help other oh, people wow. create their their custom line or their fashion line whatever um you know yeah. they custom logos on sweatsuits or gym wear or denim you know just helping other people elevate too and i feel like that's part of my purpose mm-hmm. is to help others yeah Oh okay, so if the next one, next the next her wants to be you, what are they? What are their steps? Like, how does that happen? Like in the fashion world, right? Like, it's okay. You reach out to people, you DM them. Like, you, I'm sure you get a billion DMs at this point. How do you wade through all that noise of like what's a business opportunity mm-hmm. and what's just like a regular fan, or are they one and the same? Um, you know, people have to put in that work. I have a. Uh, a scheduling thing on my website so they can go on there and actually schedule a consultation and if you're serious about starting your business you will go on there it's only ten dollars for 10 20 30 minutes of my time to book a consultation and make it happen if you're not serious yeah i'll I'll know you're serious you'll spend ten dollars on a drink we're here in vegas we're drinking at her table ladies and gentlemen okay here we are are not ten dollars in vegas no (laughs) okay okay fair enough anyway that's your (laughs) not no way i'll tell you that yeah, we'll make them ten dollars at her table. They're free at her. Oh table. yeah, free yeah. guy, free drinks. Here we go. Yeah, no, I'm not saying that loud. Okay, yeah, don't please. say that. Cut the line. We'll have a, cut that out back there. We'll have a line of people <laughs> showing up. What is you know for you, if you could design for anybody, mm. who would you want to design for? And it doesn't have to be in sports yeah. either. That's a good question. Like I've never even thought about that because I'm always just thinking about who I run into and it's all about energy for me because I will turn down clients all day long if they don't respect my business, my boundaries, my time, you know what I mean? It's preach, girl. Yeah, yeah, money is obviously a tool for financial freedom, time freedom, you know, it's a tool, but it's not something I'm like, I need, I mean, obviously we need it. it. Yeah, you want it. But at the same time, it's like, I'm not going to beg you for money or, and you're going to respect my business and my boundaries or I will, like, I can refuse business all day. Yeah. So. Oh, I need some more of that. (laughs) that. That's awesome. I think I tease that you say no now so you can say yes later. So I'm taking that. I'm just going to start saying no. Anyone ask me, they'll be like, nope. (laughs) <laughs> ask me at four o'clock i'll save my yes for four o'clock <laughs> yes four o'clock is the yes button yeah no okay so there's no one beyonce i'm talking katie perry i'm thinking people who have like really big and bold sets yeah Probably. taylor swift oh my gosh you know it'd be really great as um who's dating um john b oh Kel- kelsey bellarini kelsey right? bellarini she would be so fun too you're like you love her right now yeah, yeah. i mean anybody who's like really about fashion and yeah. enjoys it and empowers women somebody has the same like 
morals as me. You know, I love designing for yeah. people that stand for the something. Same thing, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. But obviously, I, I really love Tiana Taylor and Sierra. Okay, they're fashion. Shout out both of them. That's so sure. so let's go, ladies. Let's move the NFL with Russell Wilson. Oh, that would be into that. Okay, okay cool. we need to do that. That's my that's, chat. That's yeah. my charge for you coming off this show. <laughs> that is a steam man of battle. <laughs> you are gonna get to Sierra and make custom fits for her and the kids. Yeah. See, I so do. Cute. I I, I yeah. matching. I actually designed for Sidel Curry Lee. Yeah, and her son as well. Like, yeah, I saw that. That's okay. So, how did that? Did she reach out to you? Did you reach out no, to them? No, I'm. I actually met her mom at a. Oh, so a, you met Anna? Yes, yeah, she's yeah, beautiful. Uh, she is. She's a beautiful soul. Family, so beautiful. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was actually just sitting in the row, and the security was like, "Hey, talk to her." <laughs> I'm like, "Oh, okay." So I like introduced myself, and then I, because I didn't know who it was. Yeah, at first. Yeah, okay. And then she introduced, or I introduced myself, and she told me her name. I'm like. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like, like my daughter would love this stuff, you know. So she uh, connected me with Sido. Oh my then, gosh! Yeah. So from oh. there, I see her at all the games. And I saw a bunch of wives got on that bandwagon. Yeah, I thought some Bucks players got on it. You did some amazing fits that were like That's so cool. Um, the blanket fit, the mm-hmm. pant, and yep. everyone was on that. Yeah, honestly, there's a lot of creators out here making like the blanket pants or whatever. Okay, but I actually created one of one again for Devin Booker's dad. It was, uh, you know, I took booker's images like from the court and like did a whole graphic design got that printed on a blanket and then sewed out of the blanket a hoodie for devin booker's dad oh my god so and then he wore it to the game got me some like contests and pictures yeah, it's, oh, and it's, so it's just so cool just networking and be able to meet all these different people in the arenas you never know who's yeah. there and everybody is just there for a good time but yeah what about like social media? Like, how have you utilized that to really like grow your brand? Is it like TikTok, Instagram? Uh, well, both. I'm on both. Uh, but TikTok, we don't know how to TikTok over here. <laughs> We're lost. The two of us. I know. It's, TikTok. We all are. <laughs> <laughs> you never know when your stuff's gonna go yeah, viral. Yeah, finally, right? It's like, yeah. oh, this one. Okay. Yeah. So that's the thing. When mm-hmm. uh, the very first video that went viral, at, right now it's at like 2.3 million views. Oh wow! Um, it's the jersey dress. I I did a whole photo shoot with that jersey dress. Uh huh. And from there, I just like got behind the scenes videos and made a TikTok and I was really upset actually. I'm like, man, this content sucks <laughs> from my behind the scenes, but let me just look at TikTok. That, yeah. yeah, and I did and overnight it, it went viral. Isn't that crazy how that uh, happens? Yeah. And that's where I got most of my sales and that's wow. where this whole this whole thing started. Shout out. Literally from TikTok. Shout out TikTok. Yeah. You guys are changing lives and they Seriously. told you to know it. Yeah. Yes. I'm here because of that. And so that's amazing to to hear. But you know, we hear a lot from our guests of you know, when you're an entrepreneur, it's a hustle game. It is. Mm-hmm. It's a hustle game. It is a get your name out there to gather the respect, right? Yep. To do it. You know, what sacrifices have you had to make, you know, in the last couple of years, personally, professionally, to be able to continue to grow the way you want to grow? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, one sacrifice, I love to travel and I have a business, so I can't be traveling as much as I want to. This year, I plan to more because I'm working with more NBA teams, so I yeah. can go travel and Go watch the dancers, you know, the new dance teams I'm designing for, which I'm not going to announce yet. <laughs> oh, so that's your oh, ride. Oh, <laughs> that tea is coming up later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I really love to travel. So I've kind of like slowed it down a little bit just to focus on the business and actually fulfill my orders and everything. Yeah. Um, You know, also sleep. I, that's a big sacrifice. Yeah, I don't sleep as much as I would like to. Yes. Something. I mean, as an entrepreneur, you can't. Mm-hmm. You got to be up. Hustling, so. But I feel like, though, you're on such a healthy path of, like, I can say no. Yeah. Because, yeah. yeah. again, like, you want to hustle because you're like, okay, this could be over any minute. As opposed to, like, you know what? Slow and steady wins the race. Mm-hmm. This is what we're going to do. This is where we're going to go. Mm-hmm. What for you has been the most challenging thing trying to break into this industry? Mm-hmm. Challenging thing? Um, Honestly, I don't know. I, I feel like everything has been in alignment. So there's not a lot of challenges that I faced other than people thinking that I got it in a different way. You know, this is all have mm-hmm. like been authentic, all in alignment. Everything has happened for me. So because of me though, because I put myself in the yep. in the in the space to yeah. make things happen. Yep. You have to put yourself out there in order to grow. So I mean I guess the most irritating thing and the most challenging thing would be people like just assuming like, oh, somebody's helping you out. Somebody 
Like you're probably oh, like, a player yeah, or yeah, are yeah. far because of how yeah. you look, not because of exactly. And that, that's yeah. not the case at all. Like I literally started selling in the street. So I love that for you. I, yeah, no. thank you. No, thank honestly. You so well, and I think you know, as women, right? Like yeah. it's automatically it's assumed yeah. that like you're only getting where you're getting because of something. Like like you can't do it on your own. Yeah. And then I love when you have those moments when you do it on your own and it's that like <laughs> mantra of like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, y'all want to close the door? Like I'm buying the building, yeah. bitch. Like, so we're come back and you're going to watch me close this door on yourself. What do you think for you is in the next five years? Like, what are you manifesting? How are we feeling here? Like, what are where are we at in five years? Um, Five years. I mean, expanding to all 30 NBA teams. That would be okay. amazing. Okay. Expanding to... Other sports, yep. Or you know, we're already in NFL. She's already, yeah, she's already on the hook. You're like, hey, I'm the Saints. I can't she's wait. Like game <laughs> Al- Allie's gonna yeah. be really mad that she doesn't have Allie from the Lakers was on our show, oh, yeah. and uh, we we loved having her. And uh, awesome, she does their side. Stuff too. Too. You do. Al- <laughs> we are the Bentley. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Allie, come on over. No, you should get up with her. But it's it's yeah. great seeing women like embrace their authenticity because I think sometimes we feel like I even feel like this too, like. Okay, I can't wear that, or if I wear that, I'm gonna be looked at like this, or I'm showing too much, I'm not showing enough, I look like a grandma, I look my face. <laughs> like, what is it? Because there's a line, right? And I think the more comfortable you feel, it's kind of like the noise is just that. Yeah. When you know it, how you look is good. Nobody right. else matters. Like, yeah. it, anybody's opinion, somebody might be like, oh, what's you got on? Why you only have one sleeve? Yeah. What's going on? Love it. This is what I created. Yeah. So it's, you like it or you don't. There's yeah. a certain audience that I'm going for, and it's people that truly like fashion yeah. and like streetwear. And yeah. shoot, they go to the games and they like team gear. So, well, and I think too, there's like such an underplaced market for you, which is cool. Of like, I like dads, husbands, boyfriends, kids are always trying to find something to buy mom. Right? Yeah. What do you buy? Oh, what do you yeah. buy mom? And I feel like we're in that space with you. Yeah. Like, Okay, y'all want to go to the game, but maybe mom will go and I know. buy her a sweet fit, <laughs> yep. right? Especially the blazer. I don't know if y'all see the blazer that went viral as well because I did create it for Alicia, the Phoenix wow. Suns host. Yeah. Uh, that was the very first one. It actually got reposted by the official NBA Instagram. Oh, wow. That was amazing. And now it's like that. I'm been now. Like I see security <laughs> guards are getting it. Like everyone wants to feel fresh. Yeah. She were creating an energy for people that probably they didn't realize they needed, but also that they could have. Yeah, and I started like doing, you know, for women, like custom fashion for women, but I've expanded to men's like streetwear, team gear as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly. If yeah. you weren't doing this, what would you be doing? I mean, shoot, if COVID never happened, I would be in law school. Yeah. I mean, I'd probably graduate and be a lawyer. Be a lawyer right now. <laughs> That's I mean, weird. that is part of my passion. Yeah. You know, I was, my goal was to be a defense attorney okay. uh, for the wrongly convicted. That's my passion, mm-hmm. uh, you know, helping those people. But I don't feel like spending my time in an office. That's kind of a hybrid of like so many times. Um, okay. I'm brainstorming me here with my friends. <laughs> like, I love the idea of trying to take your passion and your purpose and put them into one because I think they're different. I think yeah. your purpose is one thing, but your passion it's it's not the same. Mm-hmm. So you know what I mean? Yeah. But like I love an idea of like, okay, how do we get to some of these people that are wrongly convicted that mm-hmm. don't have appropriate court attire? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, I didn't think about that. <laughs> you can be like, hey, like right, but it's, it's, it's like crazy town. But like that would be a cool way for you to take your purpose and your passion and kind of put them together. Like, hey, yeah. you you probably don't have a suit to wear. You probably don't have a colored shirt to wear. Like whatever. And now you're able to like tap what you started and bring where you are and where you were together yeah, i love that even doing rent tools that would be a good idea like text <laughs> rent tools like custom i love it okay. i yeah, yeah, there see where you go <laughs> building over love here. It. we're building where do you get your creativity from like i mean every outfit that i've seen is just like so different so unique one of one like you said like where does that come from she has a special bank that she goes to yeah. and people, she, but and she puts it in. Yeah, well, it's a lot of social media because you have to see the trends too. You yeah, know, what's trending so right. you can figure out what to create, but make it completely different, but still on the same lines of what people are going for right now. So a lot of social media, just doing a lot of research. Yeah, uh, you know, analyzing different brands and whatever. Yeah, cool. What are some of your favorite brands that you'd love to collab with? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, she Nike, that'd be lit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, Skims, Skims, where's Tammy Cat? Yeah, I'm really gay. Shoot, a uh, good American would be cool, you know, I'm yeah. the denim fit. Just, yeah. Um, yeah, there's a lot of brands that. 
I try not to focus on other brands, really. Yeah. That might stub my creativity by looking at other other. Oh, okay, okay. okay. So I try yeah. not to like okay. think too much into that. Right. Okay. So I'm when I'm thinking vibing, like I always do the one shoulder, one leg, one sleeve. Love that. Um, different asymmetrical type outfit. Right. So I kind of just focus on my my vision. Yeah, because otherwise you'd be like doing the same exact thing. That yeah, and I'm trying to stand with. out, and yeah. that's I kind of created my own niche. I don't yeah. really see anybody else out here doing team here right? yeah and that's so, right yeah yeah it's incredible what, the brand new what so the next year right it's coming up if they do you take interns like do you have a group of people working for you like how can people get to you like how do they get to you yeah i mean i do accept applications like for okay. <laughs> yeah, go yeah but i just expanded um getting a warehouse you know okay i have multiple oh. nba teams now that i'm working with who are you working with shout them out Come on now. The one, what'd you get? Hey, come on. Secret. I'm not going to tell you yet. No, it's your table. No one knows but the three of us. It's fine. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> they the Suns. Yeah, so, um, yeah. But I've seen working some with... for the Grizzlies. I've yeah, seen some stuff for the reporter, yeah. some of the dancers. Uh, I've, I'm working with 76ers, Timberwolves, Clippers. Uh, I've designed for the Miami Heat host. You know, I saw some of the dance teams from the Spurs, or dancers from the Spurs. Wow. Uh, it's just. It's, it's never growing and going. You no, know? yeah, it's always networking, always uh, expanding. So amazing. I honestly, I just gonna sit here and talk to her forever. I know. I'm just like excited. I'm like, what do I want? Okay, where can they? Where can people go check out your fits? Because I want you to. Yeah. Okay. okay. Go check them out. So my website is shopcrystals with the z at the end, dot com. Okay. Uh, you can find all your custom team gear on there, and then you can also book your consultations. So yeah. If you see something on there, but you want to customize it and make your own that you've never seen before. Yeah. Uh, book your consultation because okay. that's where you will get to speak to me for 10, 20, 30 minutes and really tell me what your vision is okay. or if you want me to just create something for you. Um, go on there, my website, and also social media by Brooklyn, shop, Chris, shop underscore crystals. I love it. I love it. I so can't wait to wear our jackets. Y'all, I know, yeah. jackets. we're about to go rock them at Summer League. I can't wait back here, although she hates me because mine's Super oh my gosh. No. Hers took forever. Uh, you know what? Uh, you I'm can not see it behind me. Yeah. But you know what? Everyone that knows me would be like, uh, yeah. Yes, so. uh, like, I'm not surprised. <laughs> that makes sense. In the not best a- way. <laughs> yes. Well, I, I, I love it. Yeah. In the best <laughs> way. I need to get some videos of me, too. Okay. No, I bet. I bet it's what it. I want, look, I'd love for people to be like, we want to buy Jack yes. table yes. for you. Like, do, Thank do you it. so much. Do it. <laughs> okay. So when we wrap our shows, we play a game called This or That. Okay. And it's fast question answers. Just we'll ask you answer. Okay. <laughs> it's super easy. Yep. Are you sneakers or stilettos? And this one's gonna be tough for you. And thank God, because everyone has been sneaker, sneaker, sneaker. And I'm on stiletto island. Dang. So I think I know where she's going, but let's... no, no, I think you're gonna be wrong. <sighs> I really love me some sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I just I knew it. I mean, I love mine. fashion, so <laughs> both. It depends yeah. on the fit, yeah. but I really love sneakers, especially yeah. like. You know that it's never ending with the sneakers and the color coordination. Oh, I know. Okay. I just I mean, love it. I'm with you. Sneaker friends. Okay, so when you leave here, go around the corner, and you can make custom Air Force Ones on the spot. Seriously, right, right here there. in the arena. Okay. You know, and have, yeah, they have um, a store here at uh, the uh, fashion mall. Okay. So you yeah. could match a custom fit with custom sneakers. Would be I like that. Wow. <laughs> You're going to see her wow. later. We're going to take them out later. Okay. 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 NB or NFL? <laughs> NBA. <laughs> sure. Okay, are we doing candy corn or pineapple pizza? She said. Probably pineapple pizza. I don't really eat candy at all. <laughs> okay. 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 But I love bread and I love pizza. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> bread. Dress up or dress down? Dress up. I'm always, yeah. even going running errands to the mall, to the grocery store. That's my girl. You got to look. I, I never know who you're going to be. That's what I say. Oh. All the time. I never know. So but true. People are always asking me, like, why Why are you wearing that? You're going to the grocery store. You don't know who you're going to meet. And that's what I'm By the way, I feel myself in the grocery store. Yeah. So, yeah. Exactly. Now, my team's always like, when they don't see me dressed normally, they're like, are you okay? Uh, right. It's What's wrong with you? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you, who's getting fired today? What happened? I'm like, nothing. I just needed a day to just not wrap my hair in a bun. Like, come yeah. on. <laughs> are you coffee or tea? Neither. Water. <laughs> order oh okay yeah yeah i'm happy drinking margarita <laughs> here but water oh water all day when in vegas oh in the spring water spring uh, water. i'm very organic natural okay i know i've seen stuff. you posting about like um moss or something Steam moss uh-huh do you yeah. need kombucha no. oh okay 
No. So I drank. So I'm like, darn. <laughs> See, it's not healthy enough. You just jet through my well, hand I, that it's healthy well, enough. I just have to think that. Darn. <laughs> but fine. Keep drinking. All right. I, I'll stick with my coffee. You can do kombucha. I'll do coffee. And you can do water. Bring water. Bring water. water. Okay. We're yeah. happy medium. Cool. Love it. Um, scuba diving or skydiving? Oh, this one's hard. And she, she likes to travel, so this one might be. Yeah, both of them freak me out. I don't. Okay. Uh, probably scuba diving, I guess, because, uh, you know, the ocean is very interesting. Is it? I know. I feel like there's a lot down there. Yeah, I know there's a lot down in the bottom where, like, oh, okay, here we are. Yeah. Are you cats or dogs? For dogs. Life? Dogs. Okay, do you have any dogs? I do. I have a golden doodle okay. and a um, Maltese poodle. Oh. So okay. Both little white fluffy dogs. I have an <laughs> Aussie doodle, mini Aussie doodle. And it looks just like a golden doodle, but it doesn't have, like, the full tight curls. Okay. Yeah. Wild. Uh, Definitely dogs. No. Love it. I'm with it. I'm Winter with it. or summer? Summer. I was telling her earlier, <laughs> I moved from North Dakota to Arizona okay. for a reason, okay? okay. I love this. She likes the heat. We're yeah, she does. complaining about it. And she's <laughs> yeah, like, I'm I'll wear sweatsuits all day long, all year round. Yes. Get it in. And are you going to want to visit the past or visit the future? And that's a tough one. I don't know. I, I think I can't. I keep saying neither. That the answer is <laughs> not a yeah. Yeah, yeah you look not a yeah, yeah, about I like, yeah, I like the present moment. I don't want to know my future. I don't want to go back to the past. I learned all my lessons. I healed. I'm here she today. In it, I know. Such a throw <laughs> of, like I know presence and energy. Yeah, yeah. I'm. Yeah. I, yeah, she is just happy where she is, and she's taking it as she goes. Yeah. yeah. I need Fire. more of that. I know. I'm like, okay, what do I got to do next? Or like, oh, like I did that. I got to go backwards. I don't know. I can't really decide. But we honestly, I love sharing her story. Yes. It's been so amazing having you at her table. Yes. Thank Literally. you so much for joining us. Like, I love seeing you all the fifth. I know. Now we're all going to stay tuned. I feel like, no. I, I, maybe we should talk to production and have her start dressing us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Please. That would be awesome. Okay. But yeah. Production. We're going to work <laughs> on have production. Some ideas. I know you like pink. Oh, yeah. Let's go. I think you blue. It's funny, we are, oh, no, literally, it's funny, we show up and I'm in pink and she's in blue, like a freaking gender review. Yeah, like, so every day, I'm like, so y- your favorite color is blue? Okay, my favorite color is red, which is random, but I do wear a lot of blue. Okay. Yeah, I like blue. Okay, <laughs> I can see, because you had an all pink fit on earlier. I did. I did. All pink suit, all blue suit. Mm. We could do the one leg for you. Oh, <laughs> I love the one leg. Yeah, you really? Was- Yes, you are I, so I, amazing. I saw her fit that she made for um, Alicia and I was like, wow, it was so oh. cool. I'm on the court. Set my shit up because she's gonna come in here with like a one leg on and I'm gonna look like a yeah. buffoon and she's 100%. gonna say, "I'll let you go." <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Custom fit. <laughs> well, we'll be back to you guys. We'll be doing our outfit of the day with Brooklyn. Here we are. Yeah. This yeah. is where we are. No, we loved having you on. I love your story. Thank Keep you. just charging forward. Yeah. Keep going, growing, and glowing. Thank you. Because there's so much in store for you, and I cannot wait to see the fit she has. I can't wait. I know. I'm gonna need a sneak peek. And next, we're gonna have you back on, and we're gonna have to do a sneak peek of like what's coming up. Oh, for the new, the yeah. tea, oh, the yeah. new tea, what's coming up? <laughs> do like a sneak peek, but free season with you. Yeah, that'd be so it's, fun. Let's do it. I love it. Oh well, thank you so much for coming Actually, on. Yeah, I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> it's all a reveal. It's first of all, reveal at the game, and she's like, "Well, we'll show it here." But yeah, yeah. Wait, well, yeah, twenty minutes before the game starts. So okay, I can't get in some trouble. <laughs> that works. Oh. We <laughs> love having you on. You're an amazing thank woman. You blazing a path mm-hmm. i'm so glad we got to have you on thanks for coming out to vegas yes. and enjoy the rest of your weekend here thank, thank you thank you for having me oh <laughs> love it love it appreciate it wow we just had brooklyn on she was amazing it was yeah. so great to hear her career path i mean she started out go- wanting to be a lawyer and then she transitioned into fashion like i know i know if you talk about somebody that takes like lemonade and you know takes lemons and makes lemonade yeah. i would say that's her. Brooklyn did that. Um, did. COVID started. She was in school to be a lawyer. <laughs> so she is so smart. Yeah. And then she went into fashion, something she loved. She found her purpose. I was really cool to hear her talk about like how she wants to empower and inspire women through yep. what they wear. Right. And it's not necessarily about her designs. It's about her being a part of their story mm-hmm. in the design she makes for them. Definitely. I thought that was cool because a lot of yeah. brands are like, wear us, and she's all about wear you. Yes. Oh, my gosh. You said that so perfectly. Uh, I mean, and it's so true, though. She is. really wants to empower a woman. And like we were saying earlier, like, look good, feel good. You're going to be good. Like, yeah. that's like the whole motto. And it's just like she really wants to empower a woman. And I just love that. She's just such a good energy, too, she of did. like just manifestation Zen. and yeah. very like I love when she's like, look, like I will tell people no if yeah. they don't fit my boundaries, my goals, my morals. Amazing. I think it's something I struggle with, too. Right. Right. Of like you feel like you have to be all the time. But she's so just 
at peace with it. I'm yep. like, I need more of that in my life. I, I also thought it was so cool to hear her say she designs 42 outfits. I know. For Alicia from the Phoenix Suns house, 42 outfits a year. Like, I can't even barely put together five outfits to come to Vegas, let alone 42. <laughs> and to be that creative, too, to think of like, a new design for every stuff. I know. Like, God, how do you not run out of ideas? I don't know. And she keeps every every outfit. It just gets better and better. It's like, how do you do that? I love What it. is weird because her. she is a woman in sports. Yeah. She literally is in sports. She's impacting sports. Yep. She has her designs on the court on another woman in an NBA game. Wow. Talk about women empowerment and crushing it. You don't even know. No. And I love sharing those stories. Yeah. It's so special to me to be able to highlight yeah. somebody who's 26 years old, mm-hmm. really found their purpose, living their best life, but really like willing to put in the work. Yeah. Definitely. She's a hustler. She's a, de- she's a hustler. She is a hustler. She was ready to go get it. Mm-hmm. And she believes in what she's doing. I need more of that. I she was awesome. Love she was it. awesome. Love I'm Devner. so glad we got to have her on. That's a wrap for us here at her table today. Thanks so much for joining us. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, share with a friend. Let's get some more amazing women on this show and celebrate them. We're all about it here at her table.